The situation is grim there. Poyang Lake's water level has set a new record, and it's still rising as we speak. Now, Poyang is China's largest freshwater lake, and the lake itself is vital for containing floods. Uh, five rivers now flow into Poyang Lake, and as you said, it sits downstream on the Yangtze River. So usually, it acts as a reservoir that regulates and tames the floods. But on Sunday, the water level reached a record of 22.6 meters. And this, if this buffer zone goes, the surrounding regions and areas along the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River will definitely suffer. And these are heavily populated areas, including the major cities like Shanghai and Nanjing. And so far, five million people have already been affected in the region by this bout of floods. And the Jiangxi provincial government, which oversees the Poyang Lake, has already rolled out its highest level of response. If we look at the map, we can see the damage on both sides of the river. In central China, including Hubei province, which is known as the province of a thousand lakes, water levels are near historical point. In Wuhan, the metropolis just recovering from the pandemic, floods have already covered the pavements, threatening the city's main avenues. And as of Sunday, in parts of Wuhan, water levels reached 28.7 meters. That's above the average height of main roads in the city. Uh, weather authorities say the flood quest will come in Wuhan city as well as the rest of the province in two days. And it's likely to be nearly 30 meter high. It's going to be challenging. That's because it's on top of an already difficult week. Hubei is not the only place under pressure. Authorities have also warned that severe water flows as well as rainstorms in Anhui province and other economic powerhouses like Jiangsu and Zhejiang province is in store for the week.